hear my music on the dance floor. I love that this type of music just makes your body move. If I don't make music, I'm thinking about it, and it's just something that makes me feel happy. Like in the like the process of the track, there are some very great, awesome emotions that I have when I'm in the process of the track and another type of emotions when you finish the track and you're, all happy, you're very happy finishing it. What I usually use, it mostly is Smook. It's, I would say, the first like synthesizer that I bought. I love it so much. I mean, I use it everywhere. It's super simple. At the same time, powerful. You can do whatever you want with this one. Uh, so Virmona is the one that was an answer on the question how to make the better kicks because at the beginning as everyone like you're struggling to have your the, the best kick you ever have and so that one i think it's maybe too much for like a synthesizer but all the stuff for just to have one kick but you can also make some percussions there and all this stuff the space like a pedal i use for mooc and for vocals and the most important thing for me is actually tambourine. This one, this one is my favorite because I use it also in techno music as a, just a regular tambourine and for my guitar music project. Also for like jamming, I use Arturia Beat Step, but it's more for the jam in the process to have some ideas to record it. When you're playing on it, you're like free to do all the stuff, the weird thing, then you just edit it and finish in the proper track. And another one that I have is Roland Tessage 101. I use them sometimes when I have like a, a mood to use this one. Yeah, but mostly it's MOOC and there is just like a keys, just a regular one. Yeah, and um, for monitoring this biodynamics headphones and monitors. Usually I start from the scratch and I first I have my kick, then a kick in the bass, to, so we have some dynamic and then add some, some percussions goes after, and then some synths and vocals, maybe vocals going first if there is idea with the vocal on the, like as a main thing in the track. I always like trying to find some new stuff, some, some new sounds. Well, sometimes if uh, I'm jamming on a beat step, I'm just recording it and then editing it in an arrangement window. But mostly, yeah, I have this like a loop of like 16 steps and you just play with this one. And then I'm like repeatedly listening this uh, loop and just adding more and more and more, just like building this whole, this whole thing. Then listen to it again and then fix to add some features and details. I love to hear my music on the dance floor. I love that this type of music just makes your body move and you can feel the sub bass on the dance floor. So it also, like for me, it's important to the structure that it will be easy to mix with other tracks because sometimes you have the track which sounds great, but it's so difficult to mix it with others. For more like personal, and experimental stuff, I have my side project, Rosa Damask, which is mostly guitar music. And where I can do whatever I want because it doesn't require structure at all. I mean, so there is just only experiments and like lyrics that I not pre-written all this, mostly like a self-exploring. I tried to incorporate some uh, like a type of the vocal that I have in Rosa Damask music. And I have some tracks there, but it just depends on the mood. Like, I don't know. Just I'm not, try not trying to, to definitely to, to have it all together. And it's kind of difficult to analyze all the stuff, to be honest. There are some moments in, in my life when there's just emotions too intense and there are like some situations that happens in your life. It helps me to get rid of all this stuff and like helps me to understand myself better and it's definitely a phases because in like one week I can write like seven or eight tracks songs and sometimes I can sit for the like two weeks making one track. So it, there is no like 
a particular scheme how to do the track. It just as it happens, it happens. You have an idea, and like you know how to embody it in life, and all that stuff just makes me feel better and just makes me feel happy. Yeah.